Good morning here in front of the Department of Treasury. I call for Mrs. Yellen to support, first of all, the Euro for Ukraine and also fast track Euro enlargement. And of course, she has a lot of influence to do that. And it is very important to have currency stability in Eastern Europe and all the countries which are part of the Eurozone are stable. And this is very important. The Euro adoption in Montenegro and in Kosovo with the help of the Americans and the European and the Austrian National Bank has been extremely beneficial and the same must be done for Ukraine. The reconstruction of Ukraine must be based on a sound footing and this is important. Only the Euro can be that sound footing. And uh, this uh, joint strategy between the Federal Reserve, the US Treasury and of course uh, the European authorities must be based on the Euro for Ukraine and of course for Romania, for Bulgaria, for, uh, the, for Poland and all the countries. And the Americans must actively encourage currency stability in, by the Euroization of Eastern Europe and that is the best strategy ahead. Additionally, here in front of the US Treasury, I call for the confiscation of all Russian assets in our jurisdiction in Europe and America, and of course, uh, to make the Russians pay for all these crimes they have committed and the immense damage. Obviously, um, Europe must pay most of the reconstruction costs. This, America, this Russian confiscation will be a long-term process, and it will be difficult legally, but at least we should deprive Putin of these resources. and. We should freeze them and then later confiscate them, maybe that's a better way. And also I call for the Austrian uh, uh, Raiffeisen Bank to withdraw from the Russian market and to be completely also uh, supported by the Austrian taxpayers and the European taxpayers in doing so. And the same is true for all European financial institutions which are still left in America, also in Russia, and with a coordinated strategy to withdraw them. That's the best way to do that. Thanks a lot and all the best here from Washington DC. Bye.